Hey guys, today we get a crazy announcement. In 2017, not only have we had Modern Masters 2017, we get we are getting something called Iconic Masters. At first, I read this as a joke, and then I found it on the Wizard of the Coast website. So what is Iconic Masters? Well, Iconic Masters offers players a tour through some of the most powerful cards, hence powerful, in the in over 23 years of magic history could there be tamagoyf again could it be liliana of the veil again could it be snapcaster mage again yes so modern is limited to the modern formats this seems to imply that any card in the 23 years of magic history can be reprinted now there are a few big ones rashad and port being probably the highest on my list. They will feature new artwork on many cards. The set brings in an array of massive angels, sphinxes, demons, dragons, and hydras, although these are not going to be the ones that people want, alongside some of our favorite and most memorable spells. Every box of Iconic Masters contains 24 booster packs, each with 15 randomly inserted game cards, including one premium card. Just like every other Masters, it has 24 packs in a box, and the booster packs are $10. Now, $10 is a lot of money if all you're getting is a Shivering Dragon, or a Sarah Angel, or, or God forbid, some type of Hydra for $10 a pack. So there must be very, very powerful cards in this set. Rishon Port being number one, I could see Wasteland, I could see Force of Will coming back, I could see Lily, I could see Tamagoyf, because they were set-defining cards. Other cards that could be in this set, Ink Moth Nexus, that is a set-defining card. Mox Opal. The cards that have been reprinted does not mean they cannot reprint it again in something called Iconic Masters. I find it a little curious that we have two Master Series in 2017, in addition to Commander and all the other supplementary products that we receive. It's time to save money. Like It is more important than ever to financially budget yourself because it is very easy to just overspend on these sets. I am positive Iconic Masters will be Iconic. It would be ironic if Iconic Masters was a terrible set, given the fact they have stated these are powerful cards. Now, that's a very important statement. So when does it release? Uh, it releases on November 17th, 2017, this year. It is going to be English, Chinese, Simplified, and Japanese. The MSRP is $9.99. $10 a pack, which is the premium product line, just like every other master set from Modern Masters 2015 on. This is the cost of the set, this cost of a pack. Now, is it going to be worth buying? Probably. I just cannot. Modern Masters 2017 before reprints had a huge expected value on these cards. We're talking about Lily, Goyf. I mean, most people would have just been happy with Liliana and Snapcast Mage, but then they also had Goyf. They had um, that other angel that was quite valuable. They had Kozilak. They had amazing uncommons. Might of Krosa, Co uh, Inquisition of Kozilak. And overall, the entire set... Oh, and oh, who can forget the... Uh, the fetch lands, the enemy fetch lands. So the entire, the value of that entire set was huge. Yes, right now the expected value is under two hundred dollars. If you were to open a box, that's how what you would expect to get from it. But when it first came out, those cards, Blood Moon was in it. They did a fantastic job. So I cannot see Iconic Masters, given the name that they picked for it doing worse than Modern Masters 2017. I expect as much value, if not more value. And the reason I believe it'll be more value is due to it's coming around Christmas time. It's the fourth quarter for Hasbro, so they gotta push sales. It's not gonna be a fail of a set. 
I've said this many times. A few years ago, probably three years ago, I felt that Magic would go down this route of just reprinting everything. I got a early sneak peek in once I discussed with their lawyers, Hasbro as well as Wizards of the Coast, about the counterfeit issue. And they said that they were just going to, it makes sense, but they hinted that they were going to reprint things to oblivion, therefore taking care of the counterfeit issue, which I had stated many times was a solution, is instead of buying from counterfeiters, you can buy from Wizards of the Coast almost directly on the secondary market. And at that point, I sold pretty much every single card I did not want to collect or that I did not want to use. There were, I even sold cards that I wanted to collect that I regret selling, like Stoneforge Mystic. I sold 40 of them to Strike Zone. And I wish I hadn't done that, although the price was at the highest price it would be. So overall, we will probably get multiple master sets a year now. We will probably get lots of reprints. The... This is amazing if you want to draft it. I don't want to buy a box of Future Sight. I don't want to buy a box of, you know, an Otis set that is, you're just, want, as soon as the box opens, you lose all your value. You just lose hundreds of dollars on these older boxes. But I would be interested in buying a box of this, drafting my Tamagoyf, playing my Tamagoyf, which in draft set is actually not that great. But overall, they did a fantastic job. I rec I commend them. I commend them a lot. I cannot see this set being worse than Modern Masters 2017. The set is releasing Christmas time. The set is going to be their fourth quarter earnings uh, right before their, they have to report that. And just the name of it, Iconic Masters, right? And they have a wider selection of valuable cards to pick from. So they're not just limited to a for distant in newer they'll they can pick whatever they want i'm expecting really good things about it lots of rishon points lots of ink moth nexuses lots of crazy crazy cards that are very expensive but have no reason to be magic is a player's game now wizard of the coast is going to dominate the secondary market with these reprints and that's the way it should be in my opinion cards should not be 50 100 200 300 dollars it's a little much, isn't it? Anyway, that's it, guys. Leave me a comment below if you're excited, if you agree with my opinions, you disagree. Bye, guys.